With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. A pure resistive circuit element X when connected to an AC supply of peak voltage 200 volt gives a peak current of 5 ampere which is in phase with the voltage. A second circuit element Y when connected to the same AC supply also gives the same value of peak current but the current lags behind by 90 degrees. If the series combination of X and Y is connected to a, the same supply what will be the RMS value of current. So see here they have talking they are talking about two different circuits. One is a pure resistive circuit element means only a resistor when it is connected to an AC source. It is giving a voltage of uh, 200 volt and it produces a current of 5 ampere. So since it's a resistive circuit the voltage and current will be in phase. Now the second circuit element Y is connected to the same supply and it gives you the same value of peak current. So peak current in both the cases remains same. It is I0 which is equal to 5 ampere. Okay. So in this case, in the second case, the current lags behind by 90 degrees. So whenever current lags by 90 degrees, it, it is mean that it is an inductor circuit. So in the second part you are only connecting an inductor and it is an inductor circuit. Now we shall find the values for it. What will be the RMS value if both of these X and Y will be connected to the same supply means voltage when it is remaining same. What will be the RMS value of current? So here uh, first we shall write it for resistive circuit. Okay, In the case of resistive circuit for resistive circuit I0 will be equal to V0 by R so you are supposed to find out R so R will be equal to V0 by I0 so V0 peak value they are giving it as 200 volts I0 is the value which we have found out it is I 5 ampere so this gives you 40 ohms so this is R. Similarly, we will find the reactance of an inductor and reactance of an inductor we will denote it as XL. So XL will be equal to same way V0 by I0. And uh, V0 here also it is same. It is 200 divided by I0 is also same. It is 5 ampere. So this gives you also 40 ohms. So XL and R gives you both 40 ohms. Now let us go with the series combination because only current that is an inductor and resistor is connected. We shall write the impedance Z. Z is the impedance and it is given with root of R square plus XL square. So Z will be equal to root of R is 40 square plus xl square is also 40 square so this you will get it as 40 into root 2 and since it is impedance it's a type of resistance it is 40 root 2 ohms so by this what they are asking they are asking you to calculate the rms value of current so we shall go with the rms value now whatever the value we have got is a peak value now let us go with rms value so i rms will be equal to V RMS by Z. So V RMS is V naught by root 2 divided by Z. And this you will write it as V naught by root 2 into Z. So now start applying the values. So I RMS will be equal to V naught. V naught value how much they have given? They have given 200 divided by root 2 you have already into z z is how much z is again 40 root 2 so root 2 into root 2 is 2 so this whole ratio comes out to be 5 by 2 ampere so the i rms rms value of current will be 5 by 2 ampere for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.